Hello everybody and welcome to the only non-German uh, episode of the Best Tiger series. So as you can see we're going to be playing the heavy tank number 6 today which is essentially just a Tiger E reskin but I was I was looking I was just looking over the armor and preparation for this and I noticed there's a few differences between this and the standard Tiger E. Now it has the same exact hull as the Tiger E, however the chassis, which this doesn't, it's not going to impact anything in game, is very, very minorly different. If you look, it has the rubber road wheels rather than all steel, which if you look at the Tiger E has, that's the Tiger H, has all steel as well as, uh, I believe it's a slightly different pattern. I could, I could be wrong about the pattern, but it's got different road wheels. And also, uh, the armor layout on the Tiger E, I actually noticed, is slightly different than the Tiger H1 on this belt, specifically here, and then on the back. If you look at this little tiny bottom flap kind of angle, it's actually stronger on the Tiger E than it is on the Tiger H1, which realistically is not going to make a difference. But hey, fun fact, now you know. So the heavy tank number six is still available. Apparently, I didn't realize this. I thought it had been taken off the store. It, I don't, I don't know if it's not available on one of the stores or something. I'm not sure. But as far as I know, you can still buy this thing, and I highly recommend it, especially with the Type 90 coming out. This is one of the best Japanese premiums because it's not Japanese. But I mean, the Ho-Ri is obviously the better choice because you're able to grind through rank 5 faster. Well, the entirety of rank 5. <laughs> Anyways, let's take out this Tiger in what is probably the worst lineup because this is all, this is what you get. Like, I mean, you can put in a couple other things, but it, this is pretty much it. You don't really get a good lineup for this. That's kind of why it's... It's in the runnings for the best tiger, but it's definitely not it's not the best tiger. I'll just say that flat out. But it still performs. So, let's see if I can show that. Probably not. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, it's in up tier. Oh, the struggle that is Japan. I I would recommend if you play sim or you haven't started if you get the heavy tank number six, it's an excellent tank to play in. Oh, hello there, Captain. Excellent tank to play in sim. Can't really say as much for uh, playing it in RB. It's a good vehicle, but it just. The lineup doesn't support it. Like you really want it to. But hey, it's still a tiger, and tigers are still feasible. Oh boy. A little bit of a uh, sort of the story behind the heavy tank number six while we drive in. Essentially Japan was going to, at least in some number, they were interested in developing a program and building the Tiger on Japanese soil so they purchased one tank a complete hull and uh, I believe turret and everything and the documentation and all of all like the specifications and everything of the tank and it was going to be shipped via submarine back to Japan because of the lack of control over the waterways but oh god yep but it never actually was able to be shipped, and it just ended up being thrown into service in the German army, either through a Lend-Lease from Japan or Germany just basically took it. And it was lost Thanks. in the fighting. Oh, look at that Heshbarn go. Maybe. It's either going to go very well or horribly well. Oh, horribly wrong. Well, I guess it could have gone worse. We could have died. Although I'm sure it's coming. 
Oh, he's he's hungry. Oh yeah, don't. No, please, sir. Please, please, sir. I beg of you. Do not do this. Oh, hello. Yes, I I know I know you have very large shells, and you want to feast. Uh, this is. Not the best position to be in. Hmm. Hey. What are you doing? Yep. I see you. Attention to the designated grid square. I don't fancy my chances to get the first shot off either. Oh, screw off. Alright, well as you can see by my crew lock, battle number one didn't work out in our favor, but we've got the home ground this time. However, the matchup is actually could be better. Potentially. Because we're not facing the allies. But let's be real. <laughs> Tiger 2s versus Tiger 1. We all know who wins in that situation. Quite a few Japanese vehicles in this matchup. Not nearly as many as other nations, obviously, but hey, represent. Oh, God. Man, I am so glad that that killed his gunner. <laughs> if that, oh, that hadn't killed his gunner. Whew. I will say, probably not the best idea to come back from basically like a week of not playing War Thunder at all to try to make a video on a Tiger 1 that doesn't have a good backup lineup. But you know what? I have never claimed to be the smartest man alive. Oh, what just shot me? Yep. I don't know where that came from, but it sounded like he or Hesh. What the heck are you doing, Tiger? Oh, yeah, RU251. All right, finally, we're in a matchup that's slightly better than before. Apparently, home ground doesn't help you against RU251s. Noted. I'll put that one in the file. But hey, we got a Lorraine. But my logic still stands. One week of not playing, followed by recording. Not a good combination. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> That's a living bush right there. That ain't no natural bush, dog. Oh, hello. there, my good friend. You really should have aimed that better. You had every advantage in that situation. Ah, there he is. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Bad shot on my part. That's not an. This is not an easy spot to shoot through. It's all those stupid walls there. There it is. 
All right, all right. That's more like it. Let's see if perhaps we can get a cap as well. I mean, now I'm just being now I'm just being optimistic. You can get right out of here. I don't. I don't need this. Most of the strategic zones are captured. Did it, did it, did it. Don't you do it? Oh, he did it. I don't understand why people feel the need to suicide bomb. That guy could have easily... He, he could have pulled out of that dive. Could have pulled out of the dive and then maybe gotten another bomb off. I guess maybe he didn't have any other bombs, but like... Just wasting it. Come on, man. Alright, rising sun tiger. Let's embody the true German. Spirit. Blitzkrieg straight down the center of the map. That's never failed before, right? Especially not against Russia. Hmm. Oh, there is something around that corner. That sounded like a duster. Or an M19. Well, M19. What am I thinking? Duster's higher tier. Hello? Oh, it wasn't a dust one. Or an M19. It's an impenetrable tank. There. Suck on that. Now observe as I drive side on to the enemy spawn. Now this is what you must never do. Good, I don't have to sit in spawn camp. I didn't want to. I want more kills. I don't want to just sit here. Let's go advance to see. And we'll get them. There's a distinct lack of enemy tanks. For there to be an enemy cap here. Oh, there he is. Cheeky lad. Attention to the map. I thought that was an M. Oh, there's another one. Hang on. Is he going to do it? Oh, you know he is. He might get me. Oh, no. <laughs> he burned down. Firing AP, because he only killed two of my dudes. Fair enough. He probably would have bounced if he was firing AP HE. I don't know if it was an M18 I saw over here. It looked almost like a uh, Jackson. It was pretty quick for a Jackson, though. Oh, yeah, it must have been the M18. Just the angle I saw on that. Well, hey, third time truly is the charm.